Did you know that your baby might kick up clouds of bio gunk when crawling on the ground? That in a report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe for the latest information. Okay, this one's kind of gross. <laughs> Consider this. During their first year of life, babies are crawling through not just the dirt down there on the ground, but also what scientists are calling bio gunk. You. I remember when a friend of mine had his first kid, he was like, oh, you got to wash your hands before you hold the baby. <laughs> I should have said the same thing. Said, Wait, he needs to wash his hands. These churning little bodies end up inhaling biological bits into their lungs at a rate that is in relation to their body mass. Four times what a walking adult would breathe in the same room. Researchers at Purdue University, however, say it could actually be a good thing. It seems counterintuitive, but moving through these clouds of Biogunk, typically dirt, skin cells, bacteria, pollen, and fungal spores, may help babies develop stronger immune systems that resist asthma and allergies. Although they cover shorter distances, their faces are much closer to the floor, where the dirt and biogunk come in higher concentrations. To figure out just how much gunk infants are mired in, the researchers built a robot with the likeness of a crawling baby, oh how cute, and tested it on carpet samples that had been used in homes. They measured and analyzed the particulates in the air of the crawling zone using what they describe as state-of-the-art aerosol instrumentation to track the biological particles floating in the air around the infant in real time. This included DNA analysis of microbes that were collected in filters. Researchers discovered that the robotic babies inhaled sometimes 20 times more concentrated junk from the floor than the air several feet up from the floor where the adults would be breathing. Also, since babies are often little mouth breathers, more of this crap gets into their lower respiratory system. Researchers say that as ominous as this sounds, it may be exactly the way nature intended. Since the late 1980s, the hygiene hypothesis has gained traction, which basically says that an overly sterile environment means an unchanged and underdeveloped immune system for the little critters. Research is ongoing, say scientists, but I presume the point here could be don't live in a pigsty, but also don't wrap your kid in a bubble either. <laughs> Check out more detail in the link in the description below on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.